What up, YouTubers? Another episode on the uh, Mark One Tranny, Kevin. Um, it's all on road and everything. It drives mint. Just doing the interior now in the back. So I've got a microwave and a fridge which I'm chucking in. Um, 12 volt fridge because I don't want to have the inverter on. You know when I've got the fridge on. So, but yeah, it's like a 700 watt microwave. Peaks at 1100 watt. Got a mattress as well. <laughs> NHS one, <laughs> dead comfy. But yeah, I'm gonna put the microwave here, the fridge there, on top of the uh, the battery there, and then all these wires and everything. I'm gonna put um, my switch mode power supply, my split charger un underneath the microwave there. So I'm just knocking together a little unit out of some bits of wood and that. So that's the unit. So that's where the car battery is there. I'll have like a little flap on it. Fridge be there, microwave there, little worktop on top. So I've just got that together. And that's a little access all where I'll have the switch mode power supply and the split charger. So I'm gonna carpet that and then chuck that in, get it all screwed in and that. So I'm just done with that at the minute. So that's a trial fit, seems to fit quite well. Not too bad that. Cover which goes underneath there for the battery. Not bad that. So that's in and secured. I've uh, just got to do that flap down there for the battery. But yeah, it fits all nice that. Put a little work tap on it as well, a bit of alley trim which I've cut out and put on. So that's not too bad. Got all the wires coming through there. Um, I'm going to get, like I say, Switch mode, power supply and split charger up in there. And yeah, it's all right. We'll chuff with that. It fits quite well. Doesn't take too much room up. And then uh, got a little fridge there. Fridge freezer. And obviously I'm going to get the tally on there as well. So it should fit quite nice, that. So I just started mocking up the other side for my bed. And um, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a hinged piece of two foot which comes down ply and then have my mattress on top of the ply and then I can just fold it up then and keep the mattress up here and then, then just clip it on top so um, it's got a nice piece of oak there actually nice and strong which has got a rebate in it and uh, I've managed to incorporate a base bin in it <laughs> so that's all right that's tucked behind there where all the uh, fuel inlet pipe is and that so it fits all right down there uh, I'm gonna have Probably me and well, get this out of the way first. Can have me inverter down there, either down there or further up here, and I'm going to make a little bracket so I can put this amp on top of it um, with a couple of inches space underneath just for airflow and that. And then a bit of storage down the back there. So that's the idea at the minute, anyway. So I've just put that unit together. Like I say, I use this piece of oak um, so it's nice and strong to put the bed on. And then just used a bit of ply, three quarters and 12 mil. It's got my base bin in there, so that's in. Nice uh, big DB Audio 10 inch number. That's in there. Uh, notched it out just to go over the arch. You know, uh, the wheel arch inside the vehicle. So. That's how it'll sit like that. Chuck it in in a minute. So I'll have like, panel on top of here where it goes over the wheel arch and that'll be for the base reflex. Bit of storage in here. Then I'm gonna have my inverter bolted there now and then my base bin amp here and then my lithium batteries here. Then I can have a, a socket there on its side, 240 socket. Well, trial fit, fits pretty good actually. Not too bad that. Nice tight fit on the base bin there. So yeah, not bad that. Just got to secure it all in and make some little panels for the top and get everything in. So I'm just going to get some of that sound deadening 
down the back of the base bin there. Nice tight fit there. Let's get some of this chucked in it. Suck it right down in that. So I've got the tops on as well there. All in there just so you can open it. Look at that. Obviously that bit's secured down there. We've got this bit here. It's where the inverter and the amps go in. So yeah, add that. So I've just got to do the base for the bed now, which will fold up and I'll probably have a, a fold down leg on it or something. So that's the size of the board I need. Just had to shape it around there. Even though I can tilt that forward, I just want that to recline to that when it's folded up. So just had to notch it out there as well. So obviously that'll fold down like that. Yeah, now uh, what I'm going to have I'm going to have another piece which just folds up so when it does fold down that'll be like that so just cut a piece out to the right size there that'll fold down on a couple of inches what I'm going to do I'm just going to cut that out there just so I can have that as a lock that'll twist 90 degrees so I'll drill a bolt on it Drill an hole in the bolt, we'll just go straight down there, drill an hole there, so an hole right down and then drill an hole there so I can get the nut on, so that'll just swivel then, so yeah, once I've done all that, cover them all in carpet. So that's the idea, just got to tighten that up now, that's a lock nut, so that'll take that down, I'm going to put a washer in between there as well. So yeah, just basically, just flip that round and then it'll stop it, you know, from rocking and collapsing underneath the bed, so yeah. But you won't be able to see that in here because I'm going to cover it all in carpet and then just trim around here. That'll do me. Well, that's them two covered. I just painted the edges there because I didn't want the carpet where it's uh, going on the floor and being on the top and that. So I painted them. It's worked out all right anyway. So I just got to attach that to that with them two inches and then put that inside the vehicle with another two inches. So now I've got to make all that lot fit in. So I've got the inverter, pure sine wave, two kilowatt one, a Renology one that's uh, going in. I've got 600 watt amp for the base bin, uh, so that's going in. Then I've got C-Tech split charger, that's got to fit in. Then I've got, I've they've got the Dally BMS for my LifePo 4 batteries, but I've not got the batteries yet because I've ordered them from China. Um, I did order some but they didn't turn up so I've had to reorder from elsewhere. I've ended up getting some EVE ones which uh, got a good bit of feedback from them so I've got them coming so I've got to get all that lot in I know where I'm putting it now anyway and then um, in this side here I've got the switch mode power supply which comes straight from the solar panels on top of the roof uh, because they're like 300 volts so that will go into this and that will reduce it down to like 14 volts so that will actually go up in here yeah, so I've got to get all that in there and wire all these wires up with a plug socket and a switch which will switch it from the solar to normal power. So if I want to put normal mains in it and keep the batteries charged up, I can just flick it down. Circuit breaker, that's for the solar panels as well. So I'll get that on a little panel and put that on there and that'll be good. Then underneath here, I've got room so I can put my amp for the base bin on that side and then on that side tucked underneath there that fits me inverter in perfectly then I've got enough room in there for my live pole batteries when they come because uh, there's only four cells and then I can put my BMS in there as well so all that's catered for in there 
so that'll fit in there nicely then with that SeaTac split charger what I'm gonna have to do which it will fit underneath here if you look on up underneath well you can't really see it but there's some room underneath there I can fit it up there it's a bit of a tight fit but it will fit so I'll make a bit of a, of a mounting panel out of wood and get that up there so that means everything will just about fit <laughs> I've managed to mount the SeaTac up in there and that's all wired up uh, I've got a circuit breaker there which I'm just gonna flip round in I've coming through here so fits in there nicely uh, I've ordered another battery as well because this one it's actually quite old 2007 <laughs> so I've ordered another one similar spec to that uh, I've got a, a high cranking ampage leisure battery which will go in there so that's good oh yeah I've got that cut off there as well uh, for the battery so that's all good so fits in nicely there so moving around here I've made a little plate there um, it's got twin plug socket on it and a few switches on it and a, it's got an input for 240 with a circuit breaker and that's for if I've got no solar it'll charge the batteries so once I've got that flicked up that's on solar when I flick it down it's on that 240 input that's just a switch which will go to these two spades and that's just for my fridge which is over there um, and I've got all that wired up soldered and I've got a uh, double shrink heat shrink on it so it's proper insulated that and it's all wired up to me switch mode power supply so that I've got a thread up in there and it fits sideways up in there but I'm going to do another air intake hole here so it can keep it cool I've actually beveled the bottom edge of that so it can get a bit of circulation in there so I've just got to get that chucked in and bolt it all up and yeah it's getting there slowly so I've got all that screwed on now so that's all good put a little hole in the side there for a bit of breathing just got to touch it up with a bit of paint so yeah it's all good I've plugged it in as well and it's all working all good so yeah quite chuffed with that this is just for the microwave this um, rather than putting it around the back there I thought I'd just feed it through so I can swap it and turn it off so yeah that's all good so I've just had to put an earth underneath here just next to the fuel down pipe there but to get to it back to uh, take our lid off where my base bin is <laughs> and thread it through yeah Bit of a pain but I'll put it back on in a minute with all the uh, insulation in again so I'm just going to thread that through into there and get the uh, amp and the inverter in there so I've just got the amp in and the inverter is down there as well so all that's wired up and everything got the plugs there got the remote control over there which I'm going to put externally and all the amps wired up and everything and I just gotta wait till I get me LifePo 4 batteries from China and then I can put this Bluetooth BMS in. So yeah, when that's in there, they'll all be done then. nicely there that's quite big in here now it's a bit dark in here because all my lights are crap in the in the unit at the minute but yeah I'm well chuffed with that all the room what I've got loads of room in there and I can still fit eight before sheets on the floor so I can still use it as a van so like from there to there it's four foot one and from there right up to where the little toolbox is and the handbrake is eight foot one 
So yeah, if you want to go and pick a load of sheets up a ply or something, I can do it. So yeah, it's getting there now. So with the bed, just got one up that, and then I can flip that up, flip that down, and that's it. It just folds down then. Look at that. Jobs are good in. That's it. Sound as a pound, mate. So yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with that now. Got my fridge there, got my microwave there. Got my bed there, all fits nicely. Well chuffed with that. Got my sockets and switches and everything there. Bit dirty, once clean, I'm gonna give it a good hoovering anyway. But yeah, I'm chuffed with that. And all this lot folds away nicely. Nice and easy. All right, that. That's it, done. Like I say, out chairs still swivel around dead easy. Just did a little contour there, so it fits nicely. Base bin's in. Just got to get my batteries. And that's it. Happy days, mate. Right then, I think that's about it for this one then, isn't it? So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. See you in the morning, yeah? Oh, well come for this, mate. Oh, belting. Is that that? <laughs>